people have got this people have got this idea of what a homeless person is like that somehow they were down and out they brought it on themselves it's their own fault or the rest of it it's just not true and um, some of the stories that we come across here are in all honesty they're heartbreaking and a lot of these people they've ended up homeless through something that really is no fault of their own when did the night shelter start Ah, I'm no good at dates. <laughs> um, it's this will be the third year now, and um, I've been involved since really the beginning. Um, as of quite a lot of the volunteers actually, because I think for a lot of us it's become something really important. And um, I suppose in a way we've sort of forged friendships with each other and relationships with each other as well because of our involvement in it. So it's surprising an awfully high percentage of people who start volunteering really stick it out the whole length of time. How did you get involved with the shelter? Facebook. I was part of a group on Facebook, you know, you're from Mutha, and somebody mentioned that the homeless shelter was starting, and myself and my children, Amy and Colby, we became one of the first volunteers. How did the People's Kitchen come in place? Um, probably came out of the night shelter that people were, the volunteers that we had were very, very uh, keen uh, to carry on serving the people. Had such amazing, uh, amazing heart for the, for the people who've been coming in that they wanted to continue. <laughs> What kind of relationship do you have with the homeless people? Really good. Really good. We've made some really good friends. Um, I'm going to cry. <laughs> um, yeah, really good. I know that the people you trust me and they've got no problem coming to me with, a, with any issue at all and asking whether it's advice or they need socks, cup of tea, coffee. They haven't got a problem, and that's good. But there are a couple of landladies here in Merthyr who are dreadful the way that they treat the people who go to them. They give them no privacy, they're supposed to provide breakfast, and they don't. And I know they they get in a degree of support if you like, they go roof over their head, but the authorities should be checking up to make sure that if they are sent somewhere, that place is delivering what it promises to deliver. Would you like to see the people and the support for the shelter in five years' time? The people who use the shelter, I would like to see them volunteering. I'd like to see them in their own home, in a steady job, and being able to give back. Giving back is important. And I'd like to see the shelter. Realistically, I would like the shelter, people are homeless, all year round. I'd like something in place for all year round and I would gladly give my time. That would be no problem at all. Realistically, I'd love to see that this wasn't needed at all, but I don't honestly believe that's going to happen. I think, if anything, in five years' time, schemes like this are going to be more important, not less important. I was hungry and you fed me. I was naked and you clothed me and all the rest of it. And to me, it's act it is actually doing what we're supposed to do as Christians. Mm -hmm.